immediately translated it into the uh, 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 one of the things that really much. How's it going guys? GN here. I'm the guy who films, edits, and directs all of the Funker Tactical videos. I do Instructor Zero's videos and Doug Markita's videos as well. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, 511 Tactical and Tactical Walls for making this episode happen about why the Bali Song or the Butterfly Knife is illegal. In this particular episode, I traveled all the way down to Rochester, New York to speak with Doug. Um, we have some Krav Maga videos coming up from Ryan Hoover and Raul Martinez based out in Charlotte, North Carolina, really one of the top Krav Maga schools in the country, in the world. Everything passes through my workstation here, so I hope so far in the last two years you guys have enjoyed our videos. You know, asking for a, a little bit of help right now, please make sure to like, share, comment, just engage with our videos. It really, really helps us out a lot in communicating with companies, um, academies, and manufacturers to give us access into the kind of content that you guys really want to see. So on that note, here it is, Doug Markaida on why the Bali song or the butterfly knife is illegal. Enjoy. Practicing. <laughs> it's a bloody song. Alright. The bloody song is basically known as a butterfly knife in the Philippines because it looks like the wings of a butterfly when it's operated, opened up, and closed. The main thing about the bloody song is it doesn't need a sheath, so it's all encompassing, closed in there. It can be used as impact if it's undeployed. Uh, the beauty about it is that it's a quick open stab and you're done. And that's the beauty about the blade song. All this fancy part is the arc point in which the blade can transfer from right to left and have all this whole body song culture that he's doing right now, which is called body song aerials or the flow of the body song and the song of the butterfly knife. But the main thing in the Filipino culture, especially in Batangen, is to open it, get it used in, and you're done. When it is an actual use. Uh, but some would like to use the body song to demoralize your opponent simply by the fact that wow, there's all that motion. Unfortunately, the body song is illegal in some areas, not so much because it's been used in crime, but a lot of times it's illegal because what happened is when people started buying it and learning to use it, they cut themselves. Uh. And the emergency room visits were so, so high because it first came out, so there's a most dramatic knife, they're getting cut and they go, wait, it's all related to this. When in fact, it's not even used in crime as much. You can, you'll find more people using lead pipes in crime. I think it's a beautiful blade. It's a blade that can be very habit forming because of all the different things that you can do. Opening from one end to another. I am not even an expert at this. I love it for the, for the mesmerizing motion of this. The main thing I open to open up, the simplicity of opening and cutting, slapping if I need to slap it or hit it without using it or I can use as an impact weapon or implementation, I can flail it, same thing as that. So this is the reason why I was able to get, uh, I had natural affinity for the karambit. I was a balsam player before I was a karambit player. But that natural motion and finger dexterity of doing the balisong immediately translated into the karambit. So that's the reason why I still like this. But unfortunately, in some areas, it's illegal. So a lot of reasons that you'll have the balisong illegal in some areas is not so much that it's actually used in crime, but once again it's because it probably emergency visits got higher, people get cut because they don't train with a trainer. So if it's not illegal in your area, get a trainer, train with it safely, enjoy the art form of finger dexterity, the motion of the blade. Of course you can use it for everyday use, but once again enjoy the art of the balisong. 